Surveillance video to pictures of the guns. Nashville police have been very transparent, releasing a lot of information about the shooting in just a short amount of time. That's a pretty stark contrast to what we saw here in St. Louis when a teacher and student were killed at Central VPA High School last fall. Tonight, News 4 investigator Susan O'Corey continues to fight to get security video, police video, and any information in the South City school attack. Susan. Well, Sam, videos and information in these cases are so important because they can show what happened and if there are lessons to be learned. We saw that with the Uvalde school shooting. The video showed how long it took police to respond. In the Central VPA shooting, all we know is what police have told us. Plain and simple, transparency matters. Metro police, open the door! Disturbing video as Nashville police give a view to the shooting inside the Covenant School. <laughs> Police were quick to put updates on Twitter. They shared surveillance and body camera video. They also released a picture of the 28-year-old shooter and information about where they bought their gun. That was all within 24 hours. But here in St. Louis, five months after the shooting at Central VPA High School, it's been a different story. Police still won't release any video. We only have what our cameras captured outside the school. On October 24th, 2022, a former student shot his way into the school, injuring four people and killing teacher Jean Kuchka and 15-year-old Alexandria Bell. Most of what happened that day is a mystery. The St. Louis Metropolitan Police Department claims it's an open investigation, which under state law makes their records closed to the public. Whenever there is tragedy, People want and need to understand it. Dave Rowland is a lawyer and expert on Missouri's open records law. I think that we really ought to be providing as much information as possible to the public so long as there's not an actual concrete reason to believe that providing the information is going to jeopardize the public health or safety in some way. For months, News 4 Investigates has been trying to get answers. Police won't budge. So we sent this email asking the St. Louis Public School District for their surveillance video. A couple days later, a spokesman responded saying the entire surveillance systems were taken by the FBI. If and when the systems are returned to the district, we will defer to law enforcement on any disclosure. I don't buy that explanation at all. We're in the digital age. Um, at most, they handed over a digital copy of something that they still retain themselves. Um, it does not belong to the FBI as long as it is retained by a local government entity, even a law enforcement agency that's subject to the sunshine law. We took another step and asked the FBI for videos and records from the shooting. They mailed a letter explaining all of the records are part of an open investigation. We asked for clarification. An FBI spokeswoman told us the Bureau provides initial assistance on all school shootings. But if there isn't a federal threat, the investigation stays with the local police department. As for the records, the spokeswoman said they can't be released by the FBI because they were only providing assistance, so it's up to the lead agency, which in this case is SLMPD. The only way that citizens can play their proper roles in our society is if they are informed. That's the reason we have government transparency laws. We did go back to St. Louis police today and asked about getting the video. They told us they're still investigating and they can't say when they'll be done with that. They also claimed a public school is not necessarily a public place and that the video may never be released. We're definitely going to keep pushing for answers here. Susan O'Corey, News 4 Investigates. Susan,